We never paid any heed to the ancient prophecies. Like fools, we clung to the old hatreds. And fought as we had for generations. stand now upon the brink of destruction, for the reign of chaos has come at last. The sands of time have run out, son of Duratan. The cries of war echo upon the winds. The remnants of the past scar the land. once again by conflict. arise to challenge fate and lead their brethren to battle. As mortal armies rush blindly towards their doom, the burning shadow comes to consume us all. to their destinies. It 
was not a nightmare, young war chief, but a vision. Follow me, and I will reveal what your future holds. I don't know what this is all about, but I'll play along. Before I get into really saying anything, I'm gonna have to mute the audio because there's some freaking tutorial talking. Let's get on with it. Excellent. Yeah. You seem eager to be on your That's way. no good. However, you must first learn how to give orders. Try ordering Thrall to move down the path towards the nearby banner. To do I will bring the audio back after the tutorial is complete. I've been thinking a long time about this series, and this game in particular. I wanted to go and potentially do an LP of the Warcraft series for quite some time, but I had a little bit of trouble trying to convince myself that it was a good idea. Simple fact is that Warcraft 1 and Warcraft 2 are very old games. I think they were made in like 1993 or 4 or something like that. Even Warcraft 3 is kind of old and doesn't really run that well on modern computer systems. The introduction video that you had seen before this had to be edited into the video because it doesn't play on a Windows uh, 7 or above system. It's also the fact that those old games kind of had a uh, little bit of a problem with their storytelling. A lot of the storytelling done in Warcraft 1 and 2 was done within the manual. You sit there and read the manual and pick up on the backstory of the game. And then from that you take that into the game and there's some more storytelling that goes on as the game progresses. But it's done between entirely between missions. The um, mission briefing conveys to you all the storyline that you're basically going to get out of the game itself. And that continued into Warcraft 2, although it was a slightly better at it, and Beyond the Dark Portal, the expansion pack. But it wasn't really until Warcraft 3, the game, uh, Reign of Chaos, the game we're playing right now, that the whole storytelling thing changed, and, the, and everything started to become... Uh, little more gameplay oriented the storyline doesn't play out within mission briefings or entirely within the manual although the manual did continue that tradition but a lot of things happen in the game in game cinematics there are characters that you play as the hero units like thrall right here and all that kind of stuff so i think this game is seems like the most logical place to start even if it isn't the start of the story which is a little bit weird for me because we essentially have quite a bit of storyline within this game to catch up on before we can really start talking about how the game plays and uh, what's going on in the game as it goes. So for the most part I'm just going to be playing through the game and bring up uh, relevant and pertinent parts of this previous storyline as they become available or or as it becomes necessary to explain it. So here we are, we're playing as Thrall, the war chief of the Horde. Now the Horde are basically a group of green-skinned orc creatures that come from a world called Draenor. Now, 20-something years before the start of this game, uh, 22 years, I believe, or so, the orcs were led from their world of Draenor through a demonic energy gate called the Dark Portal, led by a warlock named Gul'dan being taught by a psychotic mage named Medivh, came to uh, Stone Golem, came to this world called Azeroth with the intent of conquering it. They had some sort of demonic bloodlust within them and drove them insane and they had to go and kill things as much as possible, you know, because evil. The orcs, this was basically the story of the first game. The orcs eventually won the war, though the humans managed to kill Medivh before they did it. And the humans in this kingdom called Stormwind went and fled across an ocean and settled in a place called Lauderon. The orcs followed a couple of years later and started the second war. Now they ended up losing that second war due to some sort of internal strife within their ranks. 
and the humans ended up winning there, and Draenor ended up being destroyed because of their demonic energy and stuff that they were using ended up wrecking their own world, and all that kind of stuff. And then uh, the... So the orcs' home world was destroyed of Draenor, and then the orcs that were still in Azeroth lost the war, and then they were up, lost a grunt. Were herded into these sort of like internment camps and basically held there indefinitely, which is where Thrall was. I believe Thrall was born in one of these internment camps or something like that. And he eventually managed to escape and met with a former war chief, a guy named Orgrim Doomhammer, who passed the reins of the Horde, what remained of it, to Thrall, and now he is the war chief of the Horde. Now, Thrall, essentially, in this tutorial section of the game, is leading his people, the orcs, away from human society and trying to get them away from their current uh, oppressors. Anytime now. I'll make sure you can hear it next time. 